if you want to be able to scrape any email out of any website directory or anywhere online i'm going to show you the way to do it for free fast and easy like subscribe share and stick around let's begin scraping emails online is a popular method for somebody starting out who wants to build their email list and uh, send cold emails and there is a lot of um, websites online where uh, you can find an email address and uh, some of them try to hide them but inside of the code it's still gonna be an email address so let's say Gary here uh, if you click on his profile you can see that inside of his profile you're gonna find um, his email is his email right there so um, if you want to scrape this if you want to get a tool that, that can scrape this uh, all you need to do is find with GITSD web extractor um, web crawler however you want to call it so this is free and it works it's amazing crawler it re really works well uh, what it does it can scrape any website any directory and have and build a list for you and I'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna do it so let's say I found this list it doesn't matter as long as the website has a list you go to that uh, website you copy the website you can copy the whole website but it's gonna do it for entire USA you go to the crawler so you open it I've already pulled some emails as you can see so there is a lot some are small some are huge lists um, so all you do is click add new crawler you go to a link here and then you paste the link you copy everything you you select everything and then paste the link that you selected and then you add the name so let's say these are realtors um, root depth you want to leave this as is link hoops meaning how many links is going to jump link depth how many links within the website and thread count four just leave it it's going to pull four emails four it's going to go through four pages at a time um i suggest link hoops just saying one just one page so it doesn't go from one website to another because it's going to scrape entire google entire internet whatever it's it, it, it doesn't work well when you have more than one uh, i suggest having one or zero just to uh, stay on the website and click start so what's going to happen is going to pull all the pages and emails as you can see so it's pulling all from los angeles um, agents so these are all colder bankers realtors and i can build an entire list of realtors in los angeles or other places now there's going to be some emails uh that you might not want to uh use or don't want to use or like admin or something like that so customer care etc if you want to delete these uh just make sure you after you're done uh extracting to select the lists and check them out before you send or you can sort them out because there is referral there is page total there is page description so you can sort really nicely inside of the list once you pull it out and actually organize your email list uh, that way as well so you can put everybody from los altos uh, or you can select only the domain here copy that and have your extractor pull every single email from entire website again once you do it just make sure that link hoop is one or zero because you don't want to go outside the website too much so this this went outside the website it's not the website anymore that's link hoop one link hoop zero means it stays on this website only and it's going to pull only from this website now this is going to take some time leave it running because it has it's still pulling uh, uh so it went through 119 pages it got 356 9 whatever more and it's putting them in qui and it's it's going to take there is 15,000 more pages probably maybe even more it's still gonna it's still pulling the pages so you can see here these are all pages that are going to be uh, scanned and as you can see link hoop number one it gives us a few other websites as well which is not good in some cases in another it's good if you want to get as many emails as possible and then kind of clean the list yourself so greater schools for for example that's not a good link it doesn't have anything to do with realtors so i would definitely exclude that and few others facebook youtube so this is pulling pretty much everything besides coldwell so the way it works if you let it uh, pull other links basically anything that's on this website if you have the links to a youtube page if you have the links to other pages it's going to actually go there and grab that as well and then 
search those pages for emails as well. Again, it's not bad if you're just trying to get as many emails, but it's really bad if you're trying to build a targeted list. So I will stop this and then I can just click here, edit selected crawler and put link hoops to zero. So it stays on the website and then click start again. So you want to make sure that link hoop is zero so that it, it does not leave um, Coldwell Bankers Homes website. And there you have it, folks. It's very simple and easy. Subscribe and like. Hope you uh, like this little tool. It's free. You can just download and run it. Uh, uh, and then uh, use it to scrape any type of database that you might need. I have my own database. If you need to buy a database that are clean, um, then, you, uh, then you just contact me. I'm going to leave my contact below. You can go to my website and schedule a, a meeting. Also, uh, you can right click on it to pull it out like this. It doesn't really matter where it is. If it disappears for some reason, if you don't see it here and it's still pulling, you can just pull it up. So that's one thing that I found in this tool that there is like a little bug. You just pull it up and then it's going to show you the, the thing again. So let's stop it. Let me show you how I'm going to export the values. Let's do that before we finish this video. Um, so once you're done, you can actually export right here and then desktop and then name it. Let's see. Realtors, and it's going to export an Excel file, which is perfect, especially for me where I use. Uh, so if it if it does this, you can just just do the you can just add the CSV or Excel file and then open. It. You can add the extension. So the file format uh, does not match. So I should have put it in, in uh, uh, Excel, but this is fine as well. It's gonna it's gonna see it. I just said yes. It's gonna fix it, and it's gonna give me a nice little database of 1,800 emails, and uh, I'm gonna then do whatever I need to do to prepare the list. And I'm going to create a video, subscribe and like, because I'm going to create a video on email lists, everything that you need, you need to understand to do for cold email marketing, for email marketing, how to check this list, etc. So I'm, next video is going to be on how to check the list, the bounce rate, and everything else you need to know about email lists, how to prepare them, how to uh, organize them, etc. So uh, stick around. I'll do more videos. Um, and then... Um, Follow me. I'm going to keep this email. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep it for the next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.